what is up everybody welcome to a video if you guys are new here my name is steven and this channel is going to be about my carnivore journey so if you guys want to join this journey with me please hit that subscribe button and that like button comment down below so let me kind of give you guys a little bit of a background i don't want to really waste any time let's just jump right into it this is my official seventh day on the carnivore diet i have officially lasted seven days full fat carnivore no carbs no cheats and I kind of want to share my experience with you guys um, and how I came to carnivore and the health issues that I'm trying to reverse from eating the standard American diet. I'm very familiar with the low carb, zero carb type of lifestyle. Back in 2019, I did keto and I lost 40 pounds. But I feel like for me personally, it wasn't sustainable just because I was always urged to eat more things I feel like I would really I feel like I would really indulge in a lot of the keto sweets that they sell over the in the store all the little quest bars the Atkin bars I feel like that would kind of lead me down a path of like destruction basically because I would actually crave the real thing and I would end up going and eating a whole huge cake also um personally it was kind of at first for weight loss but i feel like now that i went to the doctors and i got blood work done and it's kind of scary what the doctor told me about my health and if i don't make a reversal now i don't know how much longer i have until something really scary happens to my health so here i am i'm trying to reverse I'm just going to say it, yo, pre-diabetes, the doctor said that I have an A1C of 5.8 and I am pre-diabetic and I went after again recently to get my blood work tested again and it was a 5.9, so it's going up, it's not going down and I was trying to do, I was doing the intermittent fasting but I was eating like the OMAD, the one meal a day. And I thought that would kind of bring it down, but I was eating basically whatever I wanted, oh, one meal a day, and that didn't work. I was doing the calorie counting um, recently. I was just doing the, all the, all the, I was just counting all the calories. I was like, you know what? Let me do the high protein, low calorie. Um, I can still have the carbs. And I was doing that for some time, but somehow my A1C was not going down. So I feel like this is the way. Carnivore is the way. I've been doing a lot of research. I've been watching tons of carnivore doctors, other people who have been in a carnivore game. I've been watching um, tons of, uh, I've been indulging in carnivore content. Dr. Ken Berry, uh, Sean Baker. I've been watching and getting as tons of information as possible. Anyone who has carnivore content, anyone who has experienced the benefits of the carnivore diet, I have watched that video. So um, back in 20. 2022, which was almost a year ago now, December for one month, I did a BBBE challenge and I lost 27 pounds and I felt great, but somehow my work just, I ended up going back into, go back into the standard American diet, a lot of fast food. If you guys are not, I know I'm going a little bit too fast, but if you guys are not familiar with me, I've actually made, um, like my, my, my living and my job is. I do a lot of food reviews for restaurants and and eating shows on YouTube and TikTok and social media. Um, I've been doing that for seven years as a job, eating standard American food, the, the fast food, all the fast food burgers, the chili cheese fries, the onion rings, the tacos, all that stuff. I have done it, but I feel like for me to stick to this is I have to document my journey on camera because I feel like that's what keeps me accountable. Not only that, but I'm also attracting a community where I have that support because I have announced my carnivore journey to my other YouTube channel and some friends who just don't understand it. And it's kind of hard to do it when everyone's saying, what are you doing? That's do not eat meat. That's going to kill you. Do not eat meat. That's what I'm hearing. So it's like, the only way that I feel people who understand me is when I watch the carnivore people, the carnivore content. 
um they they get it so this is my way of coming into the community and saying i kind of want to build that support system for people for people who get it and if you guys do have a if somebody out there has some sort of testimonial of what carnivore has done for you please comment down below i would like people who find this video to read your guys's comment like i have read other people's comment and found hope in that of real people who have actually done it and are experiencing life-changing benefits from this diet this way of life way of eating as people say it in the in the groups um so yeah so let me tell you guys how i've been doing on this seven days um so far the weight and 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 all that. So so I'm down eight pounds. I started at 278. I am now at 270. And I feel like seven days in, I'm feeling good. Feeling good. I'm not gonna lie. The third day was the hardest. The third and fourth day was the hardest. My body was really like saying, What are you doing to me, Steven? It's for everybody watching. I feel like one to four days is the hardest because your body wants carbs. They're, you're craving it. It's like you're going through withdrawals, massive withdrawals. I had the headache. I had the fatigue. I was moody, very, very moody. I was I was like angry at everything. It was just my body just wanted carbs. And that's something that I had. I I knew what to do. But somehow this time it was really, really strong because... I was doing, prior to, to that, I was doing really bad. I was eating very bad ice cream and cookie and cake and refined sugars and just tons of bad stuff. And it was just building up in my body. So my body was saying, like, what are you doing? Like, give me more of that. But I wasn't. I was strictly just meat. Meat. Strictly meat. And I would have some eggs here and there, but um, it was strictly meat. So my body was like, what are you doing? So day one through four, I feel like... Actually, day one was I was feeling good. I was like, "Yo, hey, hey, I have energy today. I feel good." Day like day two to four was really bad. I was like, "Yo, I'm I'm like tired. I have a headache. I'm moody. I'm I'm craving mood swings. It was just all that amplified. It was almost like a caffeine withdrawal, but like worse, kind of. And I just chugged electrolytes, electrolytes, and I upped my fats." Um, I just honestly, that's, that's basically what I did is I upped my fats. It took away the craving because I would eat meats and the, I feel like the meats that I was kind of eating were a little bit lean and they didn't have much fat to them. I was eating like flat meat and stuff. And I was like, you know, I'm not really liking how I'm feeling. Like I've done carnivore last year for one month. So I kind of know like what my what my body likes. My my body likes the high fat. It keeps me full and satiated. And sometimes like I can go hours without eating. So I upped my fat. I started adding butter to the to like the lean meats, and I felt good. I felt good. And electrolytes, and I salt my food, and I feel great. So I feel like you kind of have to experiment. You, I feel like you kind of have to experiment with all of that when you guys get started, or. For somebody out there who is looking maybe to get started and don't know, don't know where to start or what to expect, like you don't know what to expect the first seven days. Um, that's that was my experience was the first like two to four days was like the worst, but after that I was like yo like I could conquer like yo like I feel like macho man like I feel good you know, um, and also one thing I don't understand which I've experienced in the past too is. Sometimes you won't see weight go down, but you'll see inches go down. I don't know how that works. Inches going down before weight. Like, if you lose inches, don't you lose weight? Can somebody clarify that for me? Because I don't understand that. I feel like with high, with low-carb diets and high fat, you lose inches before you lose weight. Like, I could see a change in my body, but sometimes the weight doesn't go down completely. So if somebody kind of understands that dynamic or that... How that like the science behind that i w i want to understand it um i thought inches is weight i could be wrong but yeah so i'm at 271 pounds right now i lost eight pounds in a week um yeah i feel great and i'm doing this for the long haul i would like to get to my realistic goal is 200 but i would love to reach 180 
I would love to reach my high school weight, 180 pounds. Like that is my goal, is 180 pounds. And I know that just reaching that physical goal from the outside, I know that I will also be improving like my blood work and my reversing prediabetes. Basically, this is an experiment to see if I can reverse my prediabetes. Pre so in three months, I'm going to be doing another blood work panel. Maybe, I don't know if it's three or six. My doctor said only once a year, but I kind of want to see how I'm, I'm, I'm doing on this carnivore diet, especially since this is an experiment. I want to see if I can reverse my prediabetes in three months. So that's an experience. So yeah, that's how I'm feeling. Um, I'm actually getting kind of hungry. Probably going to drink water. Um, but yeah. I feel good. My mood has changed. Um, my gut issues that I was actually having have went away. I have not had any gut flare-ups. No running to the bathroom after eating. Um, no stomach pains. No bloating. No cramping. How I usually would have. Um, and yeah, I think that that's, that's, that's pretty much the benefits that I'm having so far. I'm going to do another two-week update at two weeks. And let you guys know how I'm feeling then. And do a little weigh-in. And, 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 you know, I should probably track my inches. Because people are saying just track your inches over your weight. So, I'm actually going to track my um, my inches. But, um, yeah. Guys, let's... I'm on this journey. So, if you guys are just starting this journey. Or you guys are just finding this video. Please, um, don't be a stranger. Let's build a community. Um, I feel like that's what I need. And I feel like other people need that too. So, if you guys are just starting... I'm just a little bit ahead. I'm just a little bit ahead of you, but don't worry, we got this. But yeah, so you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that this video helps somebody out there. But yeah, I'm gonna go and honestly make like a chuck eye steak right now because I need to eat. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.